What is going on guys, Futurama Butthead Man here, and I've just pretty much been on video overload these past couple of days, recording videos that I've been wanting to make but haven't gotten around to it because my main focuses first were my Lego creation and live streaming of Kingdom Hearts, so those are all on my channel, you can check those out, and then also recorded a video the other night of my mom versus uh, our friend's uh, mom, uh, our friend's, uh, my mom and dad's friend, uh, uh, who their son, his mom, so two moms going at it on the Wii and they didn't know what they are doing. And then a couple of flick jabs, a new thing I'm introducing where I talk about movies. And uh, the last one I wanted to do, um, not the last video ever, but the last one uh, that I had in mind that I wanted to record is this one. I thought I would show you guys, um, for those of you who actually like it, my massive, massive Frozen collection. Uh, for those of you who don't know if it's not obvious enough because it's my profile and cover photo and I talk about it a lot, I absolutely love Frozen. I saw it and I fell in love with it. I could identify with the character Elsa because I never really fit in and people look down upon me like they did Elsa and just love the music and just love everything about it. I just fell in love with it. So. Pretty much anything that has Frozen on it, I make sure I collect. So, uh, I'm just going to do a quick little video to show you all the cool Frozen stuff I have. And, uh, Frozen haters who don't really like Frozen, please don't leave any negative comments. If you do, I'll just ignore them. But this is for the people like me who actually like Frozen. So, um, yeah, so here is my massive Frozen collection. So, here you can see on my wall I have a Frozen uh, movie poster of uh, what the movie poster kind of looked like. I love uh, Elsa's cape right here, just like flowing in the wind. And then Kristoff and Sven and Olaf, Kristoff, Anna, and Olaf riding on Sven. Um, over here I've got a uh, frozen fever calendar. Uh, I've got to change that month because it's still on March. Um, here, I actually got to see Frozen, the Broadway musical pre-show because it came to my uh, state of Colorado in Denver. I was so glad that they decided to do the pre-show in Denver so I could actually see it before it hit Broadway and not have to wait a few years after the tour for it to actually come to Denver. It was just, I love that. And if I, by pre-ordering the soundtrack, I got the sheet music for one of the songs in the Broadway musical called True Love. And it's signed by Kristen Anderson Lopez and uh, Robert Lopez. Um, it is 862 of only 3,000 made, so got that hanging on here. Here I have a frozen canvas of Anna and Elsa. I just love the that uh, thing of them, two of them as sisters. I just really like that picture, whoever painted it. Um, then I've got an Olaf pillow right here that I sleep on. It's kind of getting kind of flat and beat up, but still, still functional. So there's that. Um, over here, I've got some frozen fat heads um, that I stuck on my wall. Um, so those are right there. Over here, I've got uh, some uh, pictures that I colored of Anna and Elsa that I bought. And then I got this at the state fair with my name on it and the meaning of my name and then like a frozen background. Here I've got a really nice big poster of Elsa behind my door. Kind of hard to move it at the moment because of all the things that I have on the floor to show you guys in my collection. The only place I can really fit it. And then over here I have another uh, Frozen movie poster framed that I got for my birthday. So there's that. Okay, so that's all the stuff that I have hanging on my wall. Now let's get to the actual collection. So first off, we have a Disney tra Jim Shore Traditions Elsa with her ice castle carved into her dress. I absolutely love the, how the artist made this. It's just fantastic. Um, little figurine of Elsa. Snow globe of Elsa. A little uh, Olaf. His head pops off and he can rearrange his parts. So kind of like I guess a Mr. Potato Head. Olaf is what you can kind of call him, I guess. Um, I got these figures of Anna, Olaf, and Elsa when I saw Frozen on Ice in Denver. And Olaf Piggy Bank. And then I got a big uh, lawn uh, Frozen statue that I don't actually keep in the lawn because I don't want anyone to steal it. Just sits in my room. Big uh, Frozen poster book. I'd love to put some of these up, but I'm running out of room on my wall. The Nendroid Elsa. Um, from, I think, from Japan. I think these are made in Japan or China. Um, a collector set of all of, of, I think there's like, a mega figurine playset. I think there's maybe like 25 figures here. So you could literally reenact the whole movie if you wanted to with them. Popcorn bucket kind of thing. Little bucket pail of Anna and Elsa and Kristoff there. And Sven, all of them. 
little frozen metal tin to put things in. Don't really have anything in it yet. Campbell's uh, soup can with soup that I'm not going to eat just because I don't really like chicken noodle soup, but there's that. Um, then there's an Olaf pillow, another Olaf pillow, smaller one, like a throw pillow. As you can see, these things are all on uh, blankets, so I have three frozen blankets. Um, an Elsa statue that I bought from someone on Facebook that they got in Disneyland. Haven't actually been to Disneyland, but we're going to be going in a couple days to celebrate my sister's graduation. So that's going to be fun. So i uh, probably get some more frozen stuff there that I don't have. So um, here's the picture I took at Disney on Ice with the big cardboard cutout of Elsa and Anna. Um, got some mini Funko Pops. A little cube plushie of Olaf. Got some, uh, then there's a, uh, cube plush of Elsa. They're called Cubies, I believe. They're a new thing. Um, and then I got some, uh, bottles that hold, uh, shampoo in, uh, not shampoo, body wash in them. Um, the, the, uh, the Elsa is pretty much empty. The Olaf, uh, is almost empty. And I haven't used the Anna and Sven yet, but, uh, yeah. And then probably just keep the collectible bottles that they came in. Um, so... And then, um, I've got, uh, so, so I think I, I showed you the pillow, um, so now we move on to, here I've got some Build-A-Bears of Elsa and Olaf. The Elsa I bought and the Olaf was actually given to me by my cousin, so they both sing, um, oh, but the battery's kind of going on the Elsa, but anyways, um, and then we got two big plushes of Anna and Elsa, they're, I think like 16 inches. And then I got a Velcro pull apart Olaf that I got it frozen on ice. Uh, Topsy turvy Anna Elsa that f changes from Elsa to Anna. Can also get that in Disneyland, but just bought it online because I haven't gone to Disneyland yet. The pull apart um, talking Olaf. This was actually one of the first frozen collectibles I got when the movie, when I first saw the movie. So. And then I got the a big uh, singing Elsa from QVC that I got for my birthday. Who, of course, sings Let It Go as well. Um, and uh, then I've got uh, some plushies from the new short uh, Olaf's Frozen Adventure that premiered in theaters with Coco. Um, many people didn't like it, but I really liked it, so I got the complete plushie collection. Olaf with a bean cap, Olaf with a fruitcake... Olaf with the candy cane in his nose. This is just a regular Olaf from Frozen. Then we've got uh, Anna from uh, Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Then we got regular Anna and Elsa um, in the same uh, size plush. Um, and I do have an Elsa from uh, Olaf. Oh, here she is. Yeah, she's right here. She should she should be over here next to. Anyway, so yeah, so there's those. Um, got the singing uh, Olaf from Olaf's Frozen Adventure. Um, got a Tsum Tsum of Olaf, Anna, Elsa, and then a big giant Olaf Tsum Tsum. Got some figures of Frozen that I've hoped I want to display, but I haven't opened yet because I need to find some more room. Uh, running out of room to display all my stuff in my room, as you can see. I got three shirts when I went to see Frozen the Musical in Denver in its uh, pre-run debut. And instead of focusing on things with like Anna and Elsa in them, on them, they got uh, like the aspect of Denver, Colorado, and Frozen. So this one is uh, shows the way to Arendelle, then to Denver, Frozen now playing. And then it was headed to New York City, so that's pretty cool. We've got um, then we've got. One with a license plate that says Frozen 5280 Arendelle. Not sure what the significance is of the 5280. Um, then we've got Frozen the Musical with like an overlay of the Colorado Mountains. I really like that. And it says Frozen made in Colorado. So I admire them for mixing uh, my home state of Colorado with Frozen. And of course, what Frozen collection would be complete without the actual movie of Frozen? Um, and of then... Uh, also, the two-disc deluxe soundtrack to Frozen with some deleted songs that Kristen Anderson and Robert Lopez wrote for the um, for the movie that didn't make it into the movie. Um, they're really good songs. Highly recommend listening to them. You can find them on YouTube, and people have done like animations of like um, Life's Too Short and We Know Better and stuff like that. So definitely recommend giving those a listen. 
I've got a frozen watch with Elsa on it, frozen pendant with an Olaf heart that says coolest friend ever, probably a friendship thing, but and then I've got a little Elsa clip-on watch um, that I can clip to my bag or something. Frozen sheets that I'm going to be switching out now that it's summer. These ones are thinner than my flannel ones. I got a homemade frozen t-shirt at, um, what you call it, at the fair um, that someone made, you know, so colors are a little wrong because um, as you can see on his hair is kind of orange. Um, still doesn't look too bad, um, but the streak in her hair isn't... Uh, isn't white it kind of blends in and her bodice is pink instead of uh, black it should be black so anyways there's that but not too big of a deal as you can see I got my Olaf's frozen adventure screensaver on my laptop there I got it on my bed because uh, I need to keep moving the video from my phone to the computer to save space to keep recording and then Last up is my frozen book collection I've got the Sinistoy which is the entire Frozen movie told in like a comic of steel shots from the movie so kind of like a graphic novel with stills from the movie pretty cool I've got frozen fever the deluxe novelization. I also really liked frozen fever before Cinderella and Then I've got some of the Anna and Elsa series books about uh, sisterhood is the strongest magic by uh, Erica David um, these are continuations from the movie like adventures to happen after really like them recommend reading them so I have one um, two, three, this is the Frozen Heart book, uh, by Elizabeth Reddick, uh, Rudnick that tells the story of, um, Anna and Hans's doomed relationship, and it gives us more backstory of Hans and why he's so evil and why he had the plan and everything, so really good, I recommend giving it a read, I really, really liked it. Then we got the Frozen, um, little golden book. The Essential Guide to Frozen, the big golden, the big golden book to Frozen, which both of those are basically just storybooks of Frozen, uh, the movie Frozen, um, and then uh, forgot to show off some things, uh, the Frozen Pez dispenser set, and, um, and then I got me some Olaf pajama loungers for the winter. Obviously, it's too hot to wear them right now, is it's summer, but you can see there they are, and it says. Uh, can't snow me down. It's got a bunch of pictures of Olaf I'm trying to get him in pants mode so you can see that they're there we go. Sorta. Of. Okay, and last but not least, my frozen Bluetooth headphones that I use cooked up to my phone to listen to music of like Let It Go and any other good rocking songs I have on my phone. That's probably where most of the memory's taken up is all my music, but it could very well be videos too, so Anyways, guys, just thought I'd take the time to show you my massive Frozen collection. I really, really like Frozen and have a lot of stuff. I don't think that that's really the Frozen collection in its entirety. There's a few things around that I probably couldn't find or forgot about, but there's a lot of stuff. So I'm a really big fan of Frozen. Probably could say I'm number one fan, but a lot of people claim that, and there's always usually a bigger fan with a bigger collection. But I really like it, and I love collecting things from it, and looking forward to seeing Anna and Elsa in Wreck-It Ralph 2 this year, and uh, also uh, looking forward to Frozen 2 next year, on November 27, 2019, which happens to be my birthday. So super, super special that both Frozen movies have been released on my birthday. So... Yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this, the people who like Frozen, not the Frozen haters and all that. So, uh, yeah, um, so I will see you guys in my next video. Um, this is Futurama Butthead Man signing off. Peace.